Hi, I'm Joaquin, and this is Chemistry Connections about oil spills. Okay, so the first topic I will be going to be addressing is what is solubility? So solubility is defined as the maximum amount of a substance that will dissolve in a given amount of solvent at a specific temperature. So basically solubility is things that are able to dissolve in different substances. So things like sugar, alcohols, and sodium chloride or salt are things that are pretty much one of the most dissolvable or soluble things in the our day-to-day -day lives. So the composition of oil and its solubility. So oil is a nonpolar and water is polar, which I will soon explain more later, but it basically means that these oils are floating on these surfaces when they interact with substances like water, so they are very insoluble. And with this insolubility, these these oils that are now not being able to dissolve on these coasts are destroying these beaches and the sediments they interact with, along with the marine life because they are, it is difficult for them to be cleaned up and they destroy the marine life because they are there for long periods of time because of their insolubility. So the next topic is covalent bonding. And covalent bonding is defined as a mutual sharing of one or more pairs of electrons between atoms. So covalent bonds, there are different types of covalent bonds, such as polar versus nonpolar, which I said before. So an example of a nonpolar, like I said, is oil and polar is oil. So a polar, a nonpolar covalent bond exists when there are no differences in electronegativities of the molecules and polar bonds are created when there are more electronegativities. And this is, like I said, is an example, like I said before, between oil and water and how they interact with each other on these beaches. So a different, so other than covalent bonds, there are ionic bonds. So it's usually ionic versus covalent and ionic bonds are formed between non a metal and a non-metal however covalent bonds are formed between two metals and you can tell by looking on the periodic table whether or not it is ionic or covalent and covalent bonds in Oil spills um, are the composition of oils and how oils um, and the breaking down of oils because things like dispersants are used to break down these oils because um, dispersants are chemical substances or chemical compounds that are used to that are applied to these um, to these uh, surfaces that contain oil on them because they are so nonpolar and these dispersants they break down these oil molecules into smaller parts into to smaller parts to make the cleaning up easier and oil is um, nonpolar, unlike water, like I said before, and the detergent and the dispersants are two things, but the detergent is of a large molecule with a polar molecule on one end and a nonpolar molecule on the other, and the detergent acts like a glue to mix and to combine oils and water. However, it can also be removed, it can also be used to remove oil from these substances like similar to how the dispersants are used. And then the third topic are organic compounds. And so organic compounds are defined as a large of any of a large class of chemical compounds in which one or more atoms of carbons are covalently linked to atoms of other elements. And so one major part of 
organ, organic compounds are hydrocarbons. And a hydrocarbon is defined as an organic compound consisting entirely of hydrogen and carbon, which is crucial to oil, crude, specifically crude oil, as you'll see in the next slide. And functional groups is also a very prominent role in organic compounds because they are a substituent in a molecule that causes the molecule's characteristics in chemical reactions. So that is also a prominent part in organic compounds. And hydrocarbons are a very important part in in crude oils because they contain carbon and hydrogen only found in the oils that are dumped in the oceans and natural gas. And these hydrocarbons are formed from remains of like marine animals and plants that have like shallowed in these seas and have drifted towards these the bottoms of these oceans. And that is what crude oils are usually characterized by are hydrocarbons. And so alkanes are major constituents of crude oil and the major constituents of the petroleum exports and products. And alkanes are a very, um, are solvents for nonpolar organic materials like oils. And so these things have very detrimental effects on the marine life in these oil spills and are mostly contained in almost all oils that we interact with even in our day-to-day -day lives. However, they do have very detrimental effects like, effects, like I said, in these actual oil spills that are harming our beaches and our marine life. And that is it. Thank you for listening.